Hi guys, it's Gina, and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute unpaper towels. If you want to see that, then keep watching. So I've made these in the past. Um, you can see I put snaps on them. I will not be putting snaps on the unpaper towels today. It was kind of a waste of time for me to snap them up and roll them up and make them look real pretty. I do have nine kids. I'm going through them so quickly. We just grab them out of the drawer and go now so I don't, don't even really use the snaps. If you want them to look really, really nice and put them on a roll and set them out and look, to look pretty, then you can definitely add these snaps. You can see how worn out some of mine are. The dog actually got a hold of some of them because I didn't get to washing them right away. So be careful if you have a dog. Um, mine are several years old and the dog did get a hold of some of them. I just want to show you how they do snap up if you were to use snaps. You want to put snaps on both sides. This side, you're going to face them this way and this side you want to do the opposite. So just make sure that you have one facing one, one way and one facing the other way. Three down the side. And then you do that to all of your own paper towels. Okay, so I'm just gonna to snap together like three just so you can see. So. These are the same snaps that you use like if you're gonna make a cloth diaper. Okay, now you see how they're all connected. And what you do is you can get a little piece of mesh from the fabric store, and then you put snaps on these as well. You're just gonna cut it with the scissors in about the size of a roll of a paper towel. What I did was I put, again, I put um, snaps on this side, and then I did the opposite on this side so that they can snap together. You're also going to put three snaps the same width apart as your unpaper towels. And these are facing outward so that you can snap your unpaper towels to the roll. So I'm going to snap my unpaper towel to the roll. Okay, and then you would just roll it up. And this would look a lot nicer if these were new on paper towels. But you would roll them up, however many. Uh, I think we used to put 16 on here, and then that was like a massive, huge roll. And then you can just set it on a paper towel holder. Um, you can hang it up on a paper towel holder, and then you would just pull one down snap it off whenever you need it. But when you have a lot of kids, it's just easier to put them in a drawer and you can just grab them out. Okay, so I got some cotton terry from the fabric store. It's great for absorbing a lot of spills. And I also got some cotton flannel. It's really soft and feels nice. Okay, so now we have to square up our fabric. You just cut along the edge and square it up. Make sure it's all even. Get rid of any of the uneven edges. Okay, now I'm gonna be cutting my fabric into 10 inch strips. I'm gonna be using my rotary cutter and my quilting ruler. And I wound up with four um, strips from the amount of material I had. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with my terry cloth. I'm going to square it up, cut it into 10 inch strips, and then I'm going to turn it. Um, I'm going to get rid of those uneven edges on that side. I'm going to cut this side 11 inches, 10 by 11. I'm doing the same thing with my cotton flannel. I'm cutting them 10 by 11. So 
I'm gonna show you how to actually put them together now. I have my cotton flannel and I have my terry cloth. I have all of my material cut at this point. Okay, make sure your thread is going to match your material or at least look nice with it. I am using, you're gonna take a piece of your cotton flannel and a piece of your terry cloth and you're gonna put them right sides together. So good side against good side. And the terry cloth is a little bit hard to tell. It doesn't really matter too much, but sometimes you can find like a fluffier side. So we'll just put that on the inside. And then you're gonna line up all your corners, which should line up really well if you um, cut them all even. Smooth it all out so it's nice and even. You could pin this if you wanted. I'm not a big pinner, especially with this material. It sticks pretty good together, so if you're careful, you don't need to pin it. So we have all of our corners lined up. You're gonna start in the middle of one of the sides of your fabric, and then whenever I start and end, I always do a back stitch. Um, and so we're gonna go all the way around, except we're gonna leave a few inches where we can turn it right side out. It doesn't really matter which side you're gonna sew on first. So I'm gonna sew mine on the cotton flannel side. I'm gonna be using a straight stitch. And don't forget your fourth inch seam allowance. I'm gonna just lift up my presser foot to turn it. last corner I'm just gonna lift up my presser foot and turn it and then I'm just gonna do a few stitches to sew up that corner little space we left to turn it right side out. Just push it all through the hole. Okay, and then you can grab like a pencil, um, anything that's not sharp but that's like long, you can stick it in there. I'm gonna use the back of a pencil and I'm gonna put it in there to get my corners out. Get that last corner. So once you have that, you're just gonna fold um, this little part that you have open. So we're just gonna fold it in and lay it flat like this, okay? And then we're gonna sew that together. Okay, so after you fold it, we're just gonna straight stitch that together. Okay, so make sure that you got all of that sewn, make sure nothing's coming up. And now to make it a little nicer looking and a little bit uh, more secure, we're gonna do a zigzag stitch all the way around. So switch your machine over to a zigzag and we're gonna just go all the way around.
Okay, so this is what that looks like. Kind of flattened it out a little bit and gave it a, a nicer look and it secured it down. Now that we got all the zigzagging around our edges done, we're just gonna do one final step, which is gonna be um, an X in the center with a straight stitch. And that's gonna help this not to happen. See how this can pull apart? I mean, that might not bother you, but I like it to be secure. So we're just gonna do a straight stitch from corner to corner and corner to corner. Now we're going to do the other corner. In the middle now and that kind of secures it down a little bit better now if you wanted to save thread in this step I will show you how to do that right now instead of just making an X going to your next one making an X what we're gonna do is you're gonna do one line across all of them and what that is gonna do is instead of having um, thread on each end like this that you have to keep cutting off you're gonna have it real close together and then you'll be saving about that much thread times two. So about, I don't know, probably about six inches of thread per unpaper top, per side. So you're gonna save about 12 inches of thread per unpaper top, approximately. So I'll show you right now. Starting with the first corner. Now, instead of finishing this up and cutting it, we're going to go ahead and put our next one on. I'm going to go ahead and put the next one right up to it. So we're going to keep sewing over this so that we won't have that long piece of thread where you have to pull and cut. So we're going to just keep going here. does is normally I pull this out right and I have to cut and on each I would have a long end but now this is the only thread that I had to use so then we're just gonna snip that part so these are the four um, different patterns and this is how they came out I did the lighter color on these. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.